Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog. So glad you're here. What's up? It's a weekend in my life, y'all, and I'm excited because Luke is actually out of town this weekend, which is sad, but I'm doing a whole girls weekend and I am very excited for this. We're literally having a sleepover tonight. So um, a lot of the friend group that I'm in, the husbands are all really good friends and I've met a lot of the wives that have either been friends before their husbands got married or whenever they went to college together, a lot of them. And they've welcomed me into the group as of the last few years and I just am so grateful that I found these girls because I love them. And we're doing a sleepover tonight, a workout class tomorrow. We're gonna go to coffee. We're gonna do a little break and then we're gonna get dinner. But we're gonna just like do takeout and hanging out at home tonight. Anyway, I'm about to do a workout downstairs. I just got home from physical therapy and my back is so much better, y'all. My hips don't hurt as much, if anything. Like I haven't felt any hip pain really and my camera's dying. For those of you that have been around for a little bit, you know that I've been dealing with lower back pain and hip pain and my primary care doctors did not know what was going on. So I went to my husband's physical therapist that rehabbed his knee when he tore his ACL and I'm doing great y'all. Like my back does not hurt as much as it used to and it's getting so much better. So we're gonna do a little workout today. I was gonna play tennis, but it's disgusting weather out today. And I'm also very chatty, but I'm gonna take you guys along this whole weekend. We have, what do we have tomorrow? I have to stop by the booth tomorrow um, and drop off some furniture. Hopefully it sells. A couple things sold this week. I had three little paintings sell, and then I also had a Burlwood tray sell. So I'm trying to figure out how to transact that on the website when it sells in person. Know what I mean? Anyway, I'm excited to have you guys here. Welcome, welcome. A lot of you guys really liked the vlog that I published the first vlog of the year. Um, and it was really fun to just vlog again and take you guys with me. But let's go get this workout done also i have a new skincare routine i don't know if you guys can tell but my skin is looking amazing and i'm on my period so the fact that it looks like this during this time is a miracle so i'm definitely going to share my skincare routine a little bit So my mic kind of failed me here, but here I'm telling you about these new grips that I'm using that allow me to focus on the muscle that I'm targeting and not the strain it's putting on my grip strength. Luke is actually the one who got them for me. Highly recommend, I'm gonna link these below. refinish this piece next also this is a much better piece than the oval table if you guys watched the last vlog because it's 100 percent real wood come on baby think of all the furniture i can pick up oh. i'm making a playlist by the way with all the songs i'm playing so you know what's going on in here Lock your abs, shoulders back. Make sure that you are not swinging. Your body is completely still, so your biceps can truly just do all the work. You're flexing your core at the same time. I need a break. All right, hey everyone, it's after the workout and I'm making breakfast tacos. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients and what I put in them. Here are our ingredients. I have some uh, zucchini that I fried up after the bacon. I used some of the bacon fat. Um, so I made it on our cast iron. I use this cast iron for a lot of things. Honestly, I'm gonna link it below. It's a little expensive, but it's very high quality and it cooks everything evenly and it's great. But I fried the bacon up, sopped up a lot of the bacon oil, then got the zucchini in there with salt and pepper. And I got some eggs in there with salt, pepper, a little bit of Frank's um, wing sauce. Now I'm heating up the tortillas. 
I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna build the tacos. Okay, I think these little taco things are too small. These are looking so good. So we're gonna put a little bit of salsa on them. I'm gonna get it under the bacon. Oh no, I'm a salsa fiend. This Ithaca salsa was, this was BOGO at Kroger. So I've never tried it before, but it looks good. Okay, first bite and then I'm gonna watch some YouTube as I eat before I work today. But it's Friday, happy Friday. These look so good. Mmm, so good. And I fried enough bacon to last me for a few days. So I can just quickly make it. Okay, we're done with breakfast and I'm gonna say a hot take. I don't like Starbucks. I went to Starbucks, we had a gift card that we got um, over the holidays. I don't like it. I think I like two things from there. And I got just like Americano with a pump of vanilla and pump of hazelnut and it tastes like literal trash. I feel spoiled and I feel bad for dumping this down the sink. But I was drinking it and caffeine makes me jittery. Like I can only have the amount of caffeine that's in the ember mug that we have and that's about, I think seven ounces, maybe six because I put creamer in. And that's more than enough for me with the caffeine situation. So I was drinking that drink and I was like, I literally don't like this. I'm not gonna drink the caffeine in it if I'm not even enjoying it because naturally I was already feeling kind of amped up. So yeah, I popped a Doc Pop instead. My first time trying this flavor, love it. If you like cherry, you're gonna like it. If you don't like cherry, you're gonna hate it. So, mm mm, -mm. Okay, we're gonna go go shao shao and then we're gonna go um, start working downstairs. And yes, I saved my poppies in the fridge for later. All right, as promised, we're gonna do the skincare routine. So I've been doing this, you guys have seen this before. My roller just really helps with inflammation in the face. And I just think it also just feels really good. All right, so I have a couple more steps to my skincare routine, but I timed it the other night, last night, and it only takes me four minutes. Also, this is said to, like I looked online on their website and you're supposed to go down because you have a lymph node and you're trying to drain this way. So don't come at me. All right, let me show you all the steps, okay? Step one, I just use any toner. This is the one I had. It's been in my cabinet for like two years. It's Clinique. I like it, it gives you a nice little tingle. So I just do toner. I'm going to do the snail mucin. This is something I have not used before, but Whitney Simmons and a lot of other people are swearing by it. It's kind of gross when you think about it, but you know what? Anything to lock in the moisture and try to prevent naturally. All right, next, Hydrinity. I got this at my facial place. I think it's made a difference. It's an antimicrobial spray and it's made out of hydronic acid. It just evens out and boosts the skin's pH level. Then we do a little drying. For you guys wondering why I've vamped up my face care routine. It's because I'm not wearing makeup during the days. So I am trying to just get up, do this and go. And it's been going pretty well so far. Just got this yesterday, I used it last night. The vitamin C from Image Skincare. I love like all things Image, so I'm sure I'll love this as well over time. So, after all of that, we're going to go in with our moisturizer. Right now I'm on a Kiehl's kick, so I really love the Kiehl's Facial Hydrating Cream. So the Ultra Facial Cream by Kiehl's, I love it. It's very simple, non-scented. I usually, before I added a few steps, just did this in the spray and 
I could use a little bit of improvement on my skin, so that's why I added a few other steps, but I enjoyed this one. I did actually already repurchase, like I have one on deck. Then to top it off, usually I will finish with Elta MD Tinted Sunscreen. I'm not going outside today and it's so, so cloudy and rainy today, so I'm not gonna put it on today. I usually do though. And that's my skincare routine. My favorite face wash, although I have three, I use CeraVe. I use just like any good skincare that's for sensitive skin. I also love this restoring cleanser. I've repurchased this a few times. I really, really like it. But yeah, that's my current lineup. My skin has been reacting, as I said, very well to it. And um, I've linked all the products below just so you can easily find them. I also have as many as I can find on my Amazon storefront. I'm also trying out the iconic salt and stone deodorant. I don't know if I like it yet. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't like how it does that thing on the edges though. That just irks me. Like, come on. I was using the, Kapa the Kapari deodorant before. Um, really enjoyed that, but yeah. Okay, that's the current skincare. I do have a little bit of redness, just that's just how my skin is, but I've been feeling really good with the current lineup and my skin has been reacting well. I will update you guys if I actually really like the Stelmucin and consider it a staple. Right now it's just an experiment for me, but I've heard awesome things from people just across the board. been taking the powders greens for probably a little over a month now and I really like it I think that it makes a difference but of course if you take greens but also don't have a well-rounded diet then you're not gonna really feel the full effect of them and it's not like a light and day effect I just noticed that my gut just feels better and I'm a little bit more regular when I go to the bathroom if you know what I mean but as a reminder I do have a discount code with them I reached out and got that all situated for y'all so if you want to give it a go there's like 10% off I think and it's already a pretty well-priced product in the first place cheers look at her ears when they go up have you seen a camera like, before what are you, looking, oh what are you doing that was the cutest thing I've ever seen <laughs> oh Pepper. Wait, she knows her name I think I know that tone of voice. That is so nice. I love her little white head. Oh, she's gonna turn gray. Hello everybody, it is the next day. It is Saturday morning and we're about to do Pure Bar. So my friend Brooke is a Pure Bar instructor and she's bringing little Pepper. So Pepper is the dog she just got and we were with her last night. We stayed in, we ate pizza, we chit chatted, we hung out with the dog and um, Jenna and I slept over Brooke's house. And it was so fun just to have like a girls night like that. I didn't really film a lot. I didn't film a lot this morning. We had some coffee. I woke up so hungry and when I don't eat on my schedule, 
I went ballistic. I ate a cinnamon roll, pizza pizza, two eggs, and a grapefruit. And I think that I like kind of overdid it because my stomach kind of hurts right now. And I feel like this workout, I'm going to be like, mm. it's okay. Nevertheless, after the workout, I think I'm gonna go to an estate sale and just kind of find some art. I really need some art for the booth. So I'm gonna go do that. But after that, we're gonna go home and chill for a little bit. And then we are going to go to Super Rica tonight for dinner. And tomorrow's a pretty chill day. Let's see, price to sell. Ooh, this is a good one. Okay, well, we have an estate sale to go to. I hope nobody knows about it. Anyway, I'm excited for today. Let's go ahead and go. Hello. <laughs> hey everyone. We are back from a bunch of estate sales. I went to a bunch of estate sales. Honestly, I was so f kind of frantic and in the moment that I just didn't have time to pull my camera out and film. I filmed some clips on my phone just cause I make reels with them for the business, but the estate sales just were pretty like you had to get in there and know what you wanted and i knew what i wanted when i went there and i got awesome pieces at like exquisite prices absolutely like i found this coffee table and i have no idea how it was priced what it was priced and it was listed at one i want to say 110 and i've seen those before going for 400 a pop at estate sales so very glad i found that and i'm glad i found it because i can now price that reasonably for somebody else that wants a coffee table like that anyway i'm about to i had a decision to make i had all this stuff in my trunk and you guys know i like to be a busy bee i don't think busy i don't think being a busy bee is something to strive for i think there's something about grinding and doing your work when you're designated to do your work is great but overworking myself is something that I commonly do and I'm trying to be very conscious of that. So I was going to try to start refinishing a piece and also go photograph and process pieces in the storage unit. And I said, absolutely not. We're going to process on Monday. I'm going to drop off at the unit today and then I'm going to refinish. I'm going to start refinishing and sanding down a new piece. This piece, I'm going to show you guys in a second, but I'm going to go put it on the little rollies and we're gonna have a, have a go at it. It's a lot better of a piece in the coffee table and I'm excited. I'm really excited because this one looks simple and I'm just, I need, I need the simple right now. But we've had a really awesome day and it is Saturday and I am working today. That's kind of the way that my schedule has been playing out is Saturdays I tend to work because during the week I'm a little bit more lax with my schedule and Saturdays are days that I have to hit it hard, usually with estate sales because they have really good discounts. Sundays I'm trying to be like truly in the Sabbath and I'm reading a lot about the Sabbath. I'm doing a Bible study about it, etc. I'll go more into it later um, and I do have some book recommendations if that's something that interests you. Um, and I think it's even an interesting topic if you're not Christian. I think it's an interesting topic that it will 
it just helps restore you to have a day to just chill out and just enjoy creation. And yeah. Okay, let's go do this thing. All right, as I do this, I'm gonna listen to Kylie Ross. She just posted a Q&A and I, am, I love Kylie, so I'm going to watch her Q&A or listen to it because it's just a Q&A as I refinish. And then I started a new book on Audible. I have not tried Audible before and well i tried one book and it was the untethered soul and the guy that was narrating was so freaking boring i couldn't even get past three pages of him reading it but i just started this book called called the mountain sing and it's about the vietnam war and this little girl and her childhood through it and i love books about asian anything i think the asian society and just culture anything in that part of the world is just so intriguing to me and interesting and those those cultures are so those cultures are so interesting and i just find them so intriguing and i love to read and listen about them so we're reading this so far it's absolutely excellent and i love the um girl that's narrating it so i recommend if you like a historical i think it's a true story i'm not sure but it's pretty damn close to true if it isn't um definitely recommend this it's really good all right here's the piece as you can see it has just straight lines i'm gonna i can easily take all the drawers out the top is going to be easy to sand. It has a lot of damage. So a lot of damage to this wood. We're going to have to restore. Same to the side. Just a lot of damage here. So beautiful piece though. I think we're going to be able to get into really good condition. So I'm still trying to decide the stain that I want to stain it at. These I'm going to clean so they're really going to shine and be a little bit more bronze than they are right now. I think a dark, dark, dark wood would look really pretty and, or a wood that just isn't so red. So we will see. All right, hello everybody. This is gonna be, here, let me put you in the spice cabinet. Just kidding, you can't put it in there. Um, hello. Okay, here's the fit. You can't really see all of it, but I got this top from Rent the Runway. It's a boat neck. I personally love boat necks because I think my collarbones flatter me. So got that going on. I got this from J. Crew. It's like an insulated jean jacket. Very cute and it's like kind of cropped. And I got some other jeans and I got my purse and I'm gonna put on some Dolce Vita sneakers. So we're off to dinner. I am going to Super Rica with some of the girls and then I'm coming home and I'm sleeping in my bed and I'm so excited. Also, I got these from Mexico at just like a local um, market and they make really awesome jewelry. So if you go to Mexico, check out local markets. They usually publish what days they will be or someone in the town will know wherever you're staying, you can ask. They have, the Mexican artisans are awesome. They make really great stuff. So I highly recommend checking them out, but let's go to dinner. I am so hungry. <laughs> Also, on my TikTok, I just posted a mocktail recipe. If I can shorten the video to be a minute, I will post it on YouTube, but sometimes the shorts just does not, the one minute minimum or maximum doesn't suit me. Okay, let's go. Hello, everybody. I kind of look like my hair is super flat because I put it in a slick back pony or slick back bun tonight, but just got home from dinner a little bit ago. I scrolled on my phone for like 20 minutes <laughs> and I took a shower and now I'm in bed. I'm gonna start reading a book for our book club. So I'm just in the mood to just read a little bit of a novel and go to bed. It's literally before 10.30. Um, I got home at nine, like 20 or something and it was just so nice to get home after dinner and be sober and I just am really enjoying this sober era. I don't know why I'm like so fixated on it or I don't even know 
if that's the right word, but I just really am enjoying it and I don't really care if people drink around me, um, obviously. I can still have confidence even if I don't have a drink. It's interesting because in social situations, typically, like if you don't have a drink and everyone else is drinking, you're just standing there either drinking water or something, something just feels different and I have just enjoyed kind of finding confidence in not needing that. Um, so I really enjoyed it and I enjoyed being able to drive home and just being able to wake up tomorrow and not be hungover in the slightest or feel any sort of difference. And I don't know, it's just been really good. But Lukey's calling me, I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. Hey honey, love you. Hello everybody. So we just got back from church. I am trying out a new protein. I like the ghost protein, but I just really want a cleaner one. And I went to this organic market by me. Haven't been there yet, don't know how. And I love that place. So I found this Truvani plant protein and it literally has seven ingredients, all organic. Organic, it's controversial. Like I half believe in it. I don't fully believe in it, but whatever. It has pea protein, alkalized cocoa, cacao, peanut flour, vanilla powder, pump, pumpkin seed, monk fruit extract, chia seed protein. Um, and it's all really clean. It's a chocolate peanut butter flavor and it tastes so good. Um, so I really like that. I'm trying that one. I'm gonna also try the chocolate flavor. I'm gonna do some research on the company, but so far it tastes good. I'm gonna find out if it's actually good. And then <laughs> I've had a lot of the influencers I follow talk about Coco June and I found it there and I was really excited. I also found this, which the cashier, um, he is not doing dry January. He loves Palomas and he said that this actually tastes good. So it's an Edna's um, and it has tequila extract, grapefruit and lime. I'm gonna make a little cocktail for Luke and I, mocktail when he comes home. So I also got some collagen peptides and advanced omegas because I need to incorporate those into my diet. Um, and yeah, I'm having a little snack of Coco June and what is this? Berries and granola. I don't know what happened to my brain for a second. Went to church, awesome service. I actually asked for them to pray over me um, when we were doing the final worship song just over something that Luke and I are deciding on in our life right now. So I really just wanted prayer for that. And I've just been singing worship songs all day, which is not like me. I don't like to sing out loud, um, except if I'm alone. And I've just been enjoying this day of Sabbath. As I mentioned, I am reading this book. It's literally called Sabbath and it's excellent. If I find any good quotes, I'll share them in future um, vlogs, but I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna relax today. I'm not having a productive day. I'm trying to learn how to practice Sabbath, so I'm not gonna do the laundry, even though I really want to. Um, I think I'm gonna just watch some TV and then I'm gonna do some devotional later with Luke and um, cook later. Yeah, it's gonna be a really easy day today. It's not, it's not supposed to be productive, okay? Cheers. Also, I don't know if you guys are like this, but I love like just sitting and reading the back of anything any any kind of carton any anything i love reading them even the like nutrition facts and stuff and i think i've always been like that because i like to read the back of cereal boxes and as a kid i, I was a big cereal gal and i love to play the games in the back like captain crunch and stuff and i love to read like any part of it like the side panel the back panel the nutrition i just loved reading reading them so i'm sitting here doing that right now <laughs> You're coming live from the cabinets. So I just taste tested this, the Paloma. Holy crap. It has tequila extract, so it has that agave taste, and it actually tastes like a Paloma. Yeah, like it actually tastes like a cocktail without the alcohol, but it still has that like alcohol body and alcohol kind of taste but not that bite or the sting mm -mm -mm. that's so good mm, high in calories that sucks 110 calories per can <laughs> 
So it has sugar in it. So I only did half a can. So it's good. It scratches the itch. Hey everyone. So I'm editing this vlog and I realized that I did not say goodbye. I just kind of ended abruptly. Luke got home and we just hung out on the couch and chatted and caught up and made dinner and all that. So yeah, it was a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed tagging along with me. I know that video that I have been working on <laughs> forever that is centered around like gratitude and such has not gone up yet. And I just haven't had anyone to help me with the thumbnail. And yeah, so sorry. It's literally uploaded and just waiting for a thumbnail. So nevertheless, it will get published soon. But anyway, I'm glad that you made it this far. Thanks for being here. And I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully the thumbnail-less one. <laughs> All right, bye friends.